morning so this is just a little video of an experiment that we're doing here at the workshop so this is just outside the workshop on the gravel this is a space we normally use for drying pots and uh yeah doing anything outdoors that we can so in the summer we sometimes work out here but um this pot is based on one from brighton um we have cooked in it so you can see i think partly because of the cooking you're getting some molds and things happening on there um, what we're trying to see is we're trying to see how long it takes for um, a vessel to basically decompose so we're leaving it outside and essentially leaving it alone um, and not touching it the, the only exception is my son sometimes tinkers with it and prods it and if there's ice in it he messes with it which we allow to happen because we suspect that in the um, in, in the prehistoric period this is probably likely children would have played with stuff so what's happening here is you can see on the corner there that the whole thing's starting to crumble and to fall apart and we, we, we want to see how long this takes and what actually happens um in, in our hopes of helping to better understand um you know what happened to all of the pottery because there must have been a lot more pottery than we are finding just so to see the process see how long it takes and see what actually happens we have done this before we haven't recorded the results so we're doing it again um so you can see there's a little puddle of water in there that um has happened due to the rain um and the pot itself will slowly be absorbing water as the water is absorbed um into the pot you um, end up with little pockets particularly where you find cracks you find little pockets of moisture when um, a frost comes and unfortunately we haven't had much frost we would expect this pot to be in a bit more of a state by this stage but um, as the um, the water inside the pot freezes it'll expand and it pushes um, it, it pushes the, the clay off essentially causing these little cracks and breaks in the pot there um, so we've been doing this probably for about three months now and we are seeing some some breaking on it but we would expect to have seen more by now so you can see it gently falling apart so this is an experiment in um, the decay of pots I suppose um, and we will keep you posted on what happens with it and we've got bits falling down there I hadn't noticed we've got bits falling apart here I was about to pick it up that would be a pain. What we found last time we've done this is um, as the pot falls apart insects tend to move into the little crevices um, that are left by the broken bits of pot and once that happens the birds then get interested in the pot and they tend to start to gently rip it apart so in search of the bugs they generally start to rip it apart so we should hopefully see how long this takes. I'll give you a view all the way around and Eventually what we'll do is we'll put all of the material together and we should be able to get a time lapse of the whole thing falling apart. And interestingly, we didn't think much was happening, but the more I look at it, the more I can see it really is falling apart at this stage, which is interesting. And we have a lot of bird activity. They all tend to live in this hedge, which has had a bit of a trim, but uh, they'll be back, I'm certain, and uh, living in there and coming to eat from this pot. Okay, we'll keep you posted. Bye.